right our good people welcome so this video may seem like it's out of left field but if you watch my vlogs you know that i regularly like buy items for my wardrobe that are basics and i've been doing that for the last four years as part of my five-year plan i have another year to go but as a result i have accumulated jewelry a jewelry collection that really represents me as well as my personal style and it's very very intentional and I've been asked like where is your jewelry basics video so today I'm going to share with you the basic pieces that I've included into my wardrobe that allow me flexibility and I'll tell you where I've invested and where I've gone cheap and kind of a few things that are still on the list but before I jump into that I really want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel you got this channel to 20k and I really really appreciate you. I don't know where we go from here but I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for thinking enough of the content I create to subscribe. So let's start with the jewelry I have on as opposed to what's up here which you can't see. So let's start with earrings. You guys may notice that I always always wear these pearl studs. I've always been a studs person. These are cheap. These are from Target. <laughs> They're bigger um, than these. I have actually invested in a pair of Tiffany stud earrings from um, Tiffany & Co. So these are smaller and I genuinely wear these to events. I am such a pearls person. I love pearls. Um, there are people who would do diamond studs instead. Uh, I have always just had an issue mentally with um, like conflict diamonds and like how am I supposed to know I'm not getting caught? It's, it's a whole ignore that <laughs> but a pair of stud earrings that you don't mind wearing every day is clutch it is just the way to go whatever you choose I'll put a few options below I have a few options more than a few for just pearl earrings these are from Target like I said these are from Tiffany & Co no one can tell the difference I actually went in and got these serviced and the lady was like do you want to try these? Oh, I see you have some already. You're, you're used to pearls. Uh, and I was like saying to myself, yeah, these are like 10 bucks. These are like 500, <laughs> right? Um, but I was willing to invest in pearls, like nice pearl earrings for when I want to wear them. No one knows but me. But I've also contemplated like black pearls, like I said, diamond earrings. Either way, a pair of studs is something that's classic that you can always wear no matter what. And then again on my person is this stack, this necklace stack from um, Omi Woods is a black owned designer. And I love and have always loved the pendant necklace, right? And I knew I wanted a couple to stack, um, but I have gotten a few coins. So these are Egyptian coins. So it's definitely more me and my style, but it's still classic pendant necklace you get uh, either a, a long chain or a short chain real gold it doesn't have to be like super expensive there are ranges but I really liked like the style with this I liked also to do, supporting a black designer and so that's why I went for this stack but I've also have a few like just gemstones that I can put on these necklaces that are also just pendants so a good pendant necklace goes a long way it's a very classic look and it also can like dress up a look or dress it down either way a good pendant necklace for me is a great way to go and then another thing I'm wearing is this ring here this is newer and it came from another black fine jewelry designer um, the name of the company is white space it's their infinity ring when I saw it I knew I wanted it I'm not much of a rings person but I did want one because it really does like elevate a look with the jewelry all together it elevates a look and just takes it to a new level so I knew I wanted a ring um, but I didn't want anything normal <laughs> I wanted something that represented a, a, a an aesthetic a definitive style and so I purchased this one and I really really love it and I'll probably get a few more rings like knuckle rings eventually but for now I'm just getting used to wearing this one because I never Ever wear rings <laughs> what I typically wear actually is a watch and I think having a nice watch in a few different styles goes a long way so I have this Movado watch I've had for very many years now um, it's just the classic type of um, link watch and it's very thin 
and I really love it. I wear it professionally, but it also will elevate a very basic look as well. Let's say I'm just wearing like leggings with a sweatshirt. I'll throw this on to elevate the look, right? To say, hey, I'm I'm a little grown, right? So this is something that's essential, doesn't have to be expensive, can be cheaper, like I said. I like having one that has silver and gold in the band so that it doesn't really matter what color my jewelry is. Um, so that's why I really like this. This was actually a gift from to me. And I also love that um, this Movado is very basic. It doesn't have um, like, oh, this is hard to get. It doesn't have the little lines telling you time. And I just love that. It's a style, it's an aesthetic. And if I'm gonna get jewelry basics, I want them to be intentional. No matter the price point, you want them to be intentional. Um, one thing I don't own that I do intend to buy is a watch with a leather band. I just have not decided. when I'm gonna get it next year. So if you have any recommendations for like a nice watch with a leather band, I don't, like price point, not interested. Um, whatever you think is good, just let me know the brand, you can't put a link, um, YouTube will flag it, but like let me know the brand and the actual watch in the comments below. I'm definitely on the market for something just beautiful, usually a little a bit more classic. I love a thin band, just so you guys know. So a nice watch is definitely something that will elevate a look, and I do like the idea of a leather band option. It doesn't have to be like camel, it could be a color, right? Like a pink leather band would be really cute, um, but also a metal band and, and watch for, you know, elevating a, a professional look as well. And then in my wardrobe, a pair of hoop earrings or two is a must. I have a couple of pairs. So this is your classic hoop earring. I get these from Target. When I lose them, I get another pair from Target. I've thought about investing in these, but I just, I like having the flexibility of styling. I usually wear these whenever. It doesn't matter. They're just classic. And then a smaller hoop earring as well. And like I told you guys, I'm really into pearls. So this is another style from White Space. And it's just a smaller hoop. Hopefully you could see it's a smaller hoop and it has a pearl on the bottom, right? And so it's classic yet not, right? A small hoop, just, just a small hoop would be nice. I'd probably still get that from Target or I might invest in a small hoop, right? Get like a few carrots in it. Um, I might invest in that. I might still do that eventually, but this was my choice for my basic um, jewelry collection. And so this, like a small hoop earring goes a long way. It's just classic. It can be dressed up, dressed down. And a big hoop is classic black girl to me. And I'm gonna always have some big hoops in my wardrobe. Like I feel like we made these popular <laughs> and I just want them in my life. And then another classic is a pearl necklace. Now, this one is a bit more intricate. Um, it's really for like making a statement. All my pearl necklaces make a statement. I'm gonna be honest. Um, if I wanna really like, I have an open neckline and I really wanna give it something or if I'm going to a gala, like this would be a good way to go. I have it in a few styles because I'm obsessed with pearls, right? Um, this is another route I go from time to time. It's really, really cute. I love wearing this one casually with um, like a regular t-shirt or something and it just elevates it to the nth degree. Like I said, I'm really into pearls, but you could do this with a different type of necklace, right? You just wanna have like a statement necklace and a basic pearl necklace as well. Definitely need a basic pearl necklace. It's just classic. Uh, it, it's something that if you just wanna dress up something or you're wearing something nice, it's a good way to go. Or if you're just wearing something casual and you just wanna look um, in that level of classiness that we talk about, a basic pearl necklace is necessary. I used to get them from Kohl's. You do not have to spend a lot of money on them. I will eventually invest in a, a more expensive pair. This is a more expensive statement pearl necklace, but either way, you don't have to go high end. Just something classic that doesn't look cheap is a good way to go. Um, and then a statement necklace for sure. These are both statement necklaces. I generally do not go high end for these. Um, something cheaper is a good way to go. These go in and out of style. These are usually really heavy so they can break. Don't go expensive with a statement necklace in my opinion. Just get something that is more gaudy. Like to me that is a statement necklace, so do that. And then get yourself like a more statement-like pair of earrings. And I love teardrop earrings for this. So I think I bought these from Kohl's, these black teardrop earrings, and I love wearing these formally. 
with like a formal dress. It just, oh, it's great. Especially if you have like shoulders out or back out and you just put these on, no necklace. It's a moment. It is a moment. But like also casually, if I'm wearing something and I just want like a nice pop of color, I'll throw in like a pair of nice teardrop earrings. These are from Target, um, Rachel Comey collection. And it actually goes like this. But I just love like a nice statement earring when you're wearing something really basic let's say i'm just wearing like white t-shirt jeans um or you guys saw that linen outfit from new york the linen t-shirt the white jeans loafers black loafers i'll throw these on and put on a leather jacket and this just gives it that oomph right jewelry can take an outfit to the next level which is why it was included in my capsule right and, and just elevating my style defining my style really overall these, these last four years and then another thing I'm missing that I'm gonna buy next year is a bracelet I want a pretty dainty bracelet I have a few in mind I'll link them um, I haven't bought them but I'll link them there's one by David Yearman um, one by Tiffany and Co um, one by a black designer as well that I haven't decided which one I'm gonna get but it will be like thin and dainty just because I have small wrists and it just fits like my style but something like that but then also something a bit thicker still probably thin but a bit thicker so you want either a cuff some people will go with the cuff if it's your style it's a good way to go like a thick cuff or just a thicker gold bracelet either way a few bracelets are just essential in a basic wardrobe and can definitely elevate if you're like a bangles person then get a whole bunch of bangles but either way you need some bracelets in your basic wardrobe to elevate something, right? To take a basic to, okay, this is my style. That's what jewelry does to me. It really makes a statement. And you don't need a whole lot of jewelry to do it. Like I probably won't go beyond what we've discussed here. But I do think like being intentional about it and choosing carefully, okay, what am I gonna spend like no money on and what I'm gonna spend more money on? I obviously wear pearl earrings every freaking day. And so I don't mind investing in them. Pearls are like, what I really go for. Also these pieces, you guys see them all the time because I wear them all the time. Maybe not always the both necklaces, but I bought a stack that I can interchange. So yeah, to me, jewelry shows your style. So I really, really was very intentional about it. And I'm just sharing because you guys asked. So I'll leave lots of links in the comments below, some cheaper options, some more expensive options, and stay tuned for Vlogmas where I will share my 2020 wardrobe wish list. It's going to complete my capsule it'll be a mix of low and high because that's how i have populated my wardrobe and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.